Packers are going to play the Green Bay Packers at MetLife Stadium. What can you tell me about the Packers, Brandon? Well, the Packers are certainly surprised with their rookie running back, Eddie Lacy. He rushed for 21 touchdowns this year, and they were also quite surprised with some of their draft picks they acquired in Miles Austin. The Broncos was 15-1 this season, and they had Peyton Manning through for 30 touchdowns and had a great season, and rookie running back, Monty Ball, rushed for 1,700 yards and also had a great season. And the Broncos' defense was top in the NFL. So what do you think the Packers are going to be able to do to stop that deep? Well, you know, the Broncos didn't have, were better at covering the run than they were the pass, and the Packers were still a primary passing offense. So uh, if, we, if the Packers are able to air out the ball, they have a good chance of winning this game. Looks like it's going to be very cold weather. How do you think each team is going to deal with that? Well, both teams are kind of from cold weather stadiums and arenas and areas and places like that. So uh, they're probably used to the cold weather and it won't affect them much. Who do you think has the generic advantage at kicker? Matt Prater or the uh, Packers kicker? Uh, I'm not sure. I think Mason Crosby and uh, Matt Prater even out very well. We're having to find out during the game. How do you think the difference in altitude is going to affect the Denver Broncos? Uh, they're used to playing away games, so I don't think it will affect them all that much, to be honest. Uh, who do you think has the advantage at wide receiver in this contest? You got Wes Welker, Demarius Thomas, and Eric Decker on the Broncos, and you got good receivers on the Packers too. Easily the Broncos. The Packers have lost, and they had their star wide receiver Greg James, who was who went to the Vikings, and their uh, veteran wide receiver Donald Drop retired. So they're based around younger guys. I think the Broncos have a better chance. I don't have better wide receivers. Yeah, Jordan Nelson has had a good season this year. What do you think about? Um, Eddie Lacy's foot injury that we have just heard about earlier today. Uh, I think if he will, not, if it might affect him if he can't. Well, if he can't play in the game, it's going to affect the Packers' offense quite a bit due to not having really a good backup running back. They'll have to start with Brandon Saint. But uh, if it doesn't really affect him, he'll be able to play. I don't think it will affect the Packers that much either. Peyton Manning's almost fully regained his arm strength from when he had those two next, three neck surgeries almost three years ago now, and he's been playing very well. So, um, what can you tell me about the NBA this year? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> pardon me, I meant the NFL. Uh, <laughs> well, I was most certainly surprised to see J.J. Watt win Defensive Player of the Year again this year, as uh, the Texans kind of had a lack lackluster season as, as against last year. Yeah, it was a squeaker when the Broncos beat the Texans in the AFC Championship. Andre Johnson had 28 ACL, so the Texans had gaps in their receiving core. But who did, who did the Packers play in the NFC Championship again? Uh, we played the Redskins, and uh, it was actually kind of a blowout for them because uh, RG3 was easily contained by our, well, their defense. Who do you think wins this Super Bowl? Packers. I think the Broncos will win because they have a better receiving core, better running game, better quarterback, and better defense. Who has a better running, running game? Alright, and that's it for us at MetLife Stadium. And let's get to Super Bowl 48. Thanks.